Now to our award, Upholding the First Amendment, a cornerstone of our company. The award goes to a team or individual who demonstrates exemplary service in the cause of the First Amendment guarantee of a free press. The winner is the 7 News I-Team of WKBW in Buffalo, New York for its series, Behind the Blue Line. The team is comprised of Ed Dranch, anchor and investigative journalist, Sean Mickey, specialty producer, and Jeff Wick, specialty photographer. In an ongoing body of work, the 7 News I-Team has challenged secrecy at New York State Police operations and uncovered wrongdoing through a diligent and methodical pursuit of police personnel files. The work in service to the First Amendment is aimed at requiring the state police to obey a recent state law that opens such files to the public. In the wake of George Floyd's death, the New York legislature repealed a law that used to shield police disciplinary records and other data from the public view. But despite the change in the law, the New York State Police continued to block access to these important files. The 7 News I team cultivated a source who gave them all of State Police Troop A's disciplinary records, showing misconduct by troopers who have remained employed despite having sex on duty, filing false police reports, and attempting to interfere in criminal investigations. Importantly, the I-Team used these files to develop the state's first online database of trooper misconduct, allowing the public to make its own judgments about the status of these officers. The database already is being used by the New York State Defenders Association, and as a result of its reporting so far, at least four former deputies have been stripped of their New York State Police certification. Troopers are known in New York State as the professional organization, yet disciplining their own was hidden by state law. And when that law changed, this team stayed on that story and was looking for how and what way that it works. And after the law changed in 2020, it's now 2022. And this team is being stonewalled in all of their efforts to get any kind of disciplinary action. They followed up through that to the point where they were able to sit down with the head, the superintendent of the New York State Troopers. Once the governor saw that story, that head of New York State Troopers resigned. That's the impact that this, this organization is having in, in supporting our community and holding the powerful accountable.